Okay, we're back with Theo, and he's in his week 11 post ACL surgery. He said surgery on his right knee prior a long time ago. It's the acute left bone that we're working on. But what I wanted to show you today is some of his week 11 exercises for stability and special lateral loading work. We're working on getting the hip on one side, doing a little bit more work to help control the knee. And it's especially important for him, and especially important for those of you who've had a recent ACL surgery or have got hip problems in the past or chronic issues like he has that makes the knee roll in. So we're gonna show you that with a simple step down. This is just to show you what's happening this week. If you watch his right knee, this is his old good knee, so his new ACLs, this one, this is his previous. If you show me a step down for me, what he's got going on is a bit of wobbling, okay? You can see that wobbling control going on here. And that's his neuromuscular control, not so great on his right. Now that's the old problem, not the new one, that's the old one. His left ACL is the one we're working on. The thing about this is he's got more quad strength, okay? He's got, he feels he's got way more quad strength in the quad, so you can see the size difference of his right quad. His left one's doing great, like he's built that right back up, but not as much as his right. And this one is better. You think, oh, I should be better on this control, but the quads don't deal with knee control. It's the hip. His old programming of having previous surgeries on that and not doing enough rehab has made that chronic patterning not so good. If you look at his left, go to your left one for me, you'll see that his control, although wobbly, is a lot more stable, okay? Now that's limb weeks in the program out of ACL surgery, and he's already better than his previous one on his right, which shows me that, you know, with the right one, that's an old programming issue. The left one, he doesn't have that because he's a fresh injury on that one. This is a chronic injury, and that shows you what happens with chronic patterning to the brain, to the hip. So he's got to work on his right one just as much as his left one for these type of stability exercises. So he does injury prevention for this one and safeguards this one. So one of those exercises is a skater squat. Now, in week 11, he's putting a band on. Put that on there for me. So what this will do, and if, if when you're putting a band like this, it needs to be not too heavy. This needs to be like a light power band. That height there, okay, from the anchor point, is gonna be sort of the same height above the knee um, as, as there. So when he does a skater squat, which is basically a step down with a lateral load that way, what this band is doing is giving him some feedback to help him pull his knee out, stop it rolling in all the time. If that band is too heavy, it's just gonna launch his knee inwards, he's not gonna be able to fight it. So what he's gotta try and do is have this tension enough, and that means maybe stepping towards it, not having the band too tight. As he goes outwards, this is gonna light him up in his lateral hip, which is gonna help him control his knee. And also, the pull on the band wants to pull him in, he's gonna fight that, so it helps him tell his brain, okay, I've got to keep my knee out in line with my foot when I do a squat. And the lateral load here of that left leg is going to fire him up in the hip as well. So he's got two things going on. A lateral center of gravity shift, which makes him work hard here and to keep himself over his knee. And he's got a medial pull on that lateral band that's going to also give him that guidance to try and keep his knee straight. So that's an awesome exercise for him. Little tip on this one is when you've got the anchor point here, just so your back knee doesn't get involved here, have the box back from the anchor point, and then when he goes out straight, that band's coming on a little bit of an angle, doesn't interfere with the other leg. So that's his skater squat. One of those exercises that involves lateral loading is a step up onto a box. Now this precursors the BOSU, which we'll show you in a minute. This one, what he's trying to do is get some strength loading through the knee under control. If you put that foot up on there for me, he's gonna try and step up but what I want him to do is make sure he doesn't step up with his knee over here, okay? So we don't want his center grip inside that knee because he's just gonna, the load here is just gonna force him roll him in, okay, which we don't want. We want him to learn to get the knee over the foot. That also means get his hip over his knee. So it's almost like shoulder, hip, knee over the foot then he loads through in a straight direction there, okay? So it's teaching him to get all this sort of componentry in line to stop that sort of rotary shear force in there so he can get some single leg strengthening up onto something in a lateral direction, which is getting closer and closer and closer to things like sport and return to sport testing. So for him, this is not too hard. What gets harder is when his foot is further away, okay? So when he starts, this is, you know, his right foot is close, so he doesn't have to go over too far. So he can, this is sort of his happy range if you like. 
when he gets stronger in his left, and you'll notice on his right, when we do this, how you'll see the quad strength difference, he'll go deeper with the squat, as long as, if he goes deeper, he's not allowed to roll that in, okay? So if he goes, the point where he goes too deep and starts rolling, there's no point doing that. You only go as deep as you can control your knee. So if you go the other side from with there, you'll notice that when he goes on this leg, because he's got more quad strength and there's less of a control issue, he's just way better at it, okay? And he feels like with this one, what he commented before was, he feels stronger, but not as much control. So he has to work hard on the control with this one, yet he feels stronger when he does it. And that's just a quad strength difference there. Now that we've done a lateral load on a box with a stable surface, let's try an unstable surface with a BOSU. BOSU side steps, I love this for working out how to do a lateral loading, single leg control on a wobbly. So he's gonna be doing jumps onto this next week, week 12, but at the moment he just needs to get familiar with his bow suit and make sure that he can still control his knee under wobbly surface. So if he's doing his right leg, his stronger leg, but it's not his control leg, that's his old ACL, it's not his new one, you'll find that he feels again a little bit unstable, but he's got the strength to do it, okay? So he's relying on strength in his knee to get him through this, but like we talked about with the step down, he still needs to do this right hand side just as much as left because he needs to learn and get rid of that old programming issue he's got in his hip to get his control better for basically injury prevention. So every time he does his left, he's gonna be doing his right in between to give him that you know, reps and sets that he needs. So you can see how you can control his knee. So when he steps up on that, he doesn't really waver too much. It's pretty strong through there, doesn't wobble. Now go on the other side, you'll see on this one, We'll see how he goes. With this one also, if you're going on a BOSU, don't stand on the dot in the middle. You've got to be on this side of it, okay? Because that's exactly where you're going to be jumping as well. So he always needs to aim with his foot on that side of that dot. So where you go again for me, Theo. And he's just a little bit more shaky there, and that's the strength that she's got there. But this, I love this exercise because it really helps him work out that programming control. He needs to keep hip over knee over foot, just like he did on the box. But like I said, it's a wobbly surface. So this is a really good one for him to learn for week 11. And if you guys are in week 11, this is an excellent exercise that you cannot miss in trying to get your knee control better in preparation for, like I said, the jumping, the landing, the loading stuff that's gonna come. He needs to get this right so he gets the confidence and all the patterning issues sorted before he starts loading and landing on that. And that's to come. See you next time.